Hey, what's up, everyone? Upstart here with Rise Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Forager. And in the previous episode, we actually finally got to do something a little different. Uh, we we were still grinding for uh, uh, materials, resources, and all that stuff, but we had that automated. We, I finally decided to put steel, well, maybe not an in infinite loop, but we put a bunch there, and I have the royal steels in six forever. I just put that on infinite. Uh, we also got the power plant, or the the physics skill, I think it's called, for the power plant. And we got some electronics to make that. So we're going to be making that uh, right uh, right now. We also bought a ton of land. We went around, we did some puzzles. Uh, we actually also completed the Skull Galaxy. Uh, which is a tower over here. It was... It was not that difficult. Ah! Demon! Die! There's more over here. Kill them! Yeah, so the Skull Galaxy uh, Tower over here. It wasn't that difficult. It was, uh... There were riddles, and since I've already done them before, I sorta kinda remembered. But just uh, reading those uh, riddles again, kind of refresh my memory so I was like oh yeah I think that's paper because I knew I, I sort of kind of remember that I needed paper for something that sheep I think that sheep is stuck on my vault yeah um, as I was saying I thought I needed a paper for something so that's why I bought it because I think the paper you have to make it by unlocking a skill in the in the magic um the magic uh, branch or uh, tree the magic skill a tree so it was gonna take me a while before I got that because I, I wasn't planning on going that route so I was like hey, you know what I'll buy it I kind of remembered for, that it was uh, that I needed paper for something so I did so I did buy that and then when I read the other riddles it kind of did sound like fish, and I more or less remembered. And then the water as well. The last one, the key, was a bit difficult because I didn't—I really didn't remember that. So I had to come and look into my at my vault to see if I had anything that sort of kind of uh, fit the description. And I saw the key, and I'm like, oh yeah, the key has like teeth or something, whatever they call them. But yeah. So that was that. Uh, there's the ice. I don't know what it's called, but there's the ice one over here. And I think there's one in the red in the uh, hell lens. I don't know if there's also one in the in the desert because it seems like each each place has one. There's already one that has been unlocked, uncovered in the ice. The one in the uh, dead lands. And I know there's a red one. And well, I'm guessing there should be one over over in the desert as well. So, what we're going to do next, I should probably put the power plant uh, down first and see what it's, what's its area. Let me go here. I know I'm not going to build it right this moment, but just so I can see, I don't see any area. Mm, I don't see air in area um, because the mining rod... Oh, there's the area. I see it in the mining rod. But is there one in the power plant? Oh yeah, there is one. I see it. Oh, it's a huge area. Oh. So this could probably be placed like somewhere here. And it would probably get everything that's being um, made. But I kind of sort of want to move things around. So... I only care for doing it for the vaults right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm gun going to uh, make a cut here. I'm going to um, uh, disassemble. I'm going to remove all these uh, banks. And as I mentioned before, maybe they might give me some, uh, some, resources, in, some resources in return. Which might not matter at this point anymore, but... 
I do want to move it. I don't like how it's looking there. Especially not because it makes that druid disappear. So, I'm thinking it fell over, over there. Just leave it alone. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all that. And I'm gonna try to set up a different area. I wonder, because I hate this area. I don't like this area because of these demons. Dang, demon! But I'm thinking maybe I should probably build my banks down in this area. And like try to fill up the entire area and hope they don't spawn. It's probably... That's probably um, wishful thinking. They probably will still spawn in between. So maybe not. So I'm probably just going to bring it down a little bit over here. And yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'll be back with you guys. Alrighty, everyone. So after, you know, a fair 20, 30 minutes of um, trying to defend my area here from all those demons. Um... I finally finished putting up the banks. Uh, they've been up for a little while now. I, I also decided to put in three more markets here because why not? Um, I had to uh, more or less um, make uh, the or construct the the power plant right there, even though I don't like it because it's right next to my vault and I can't get. There's no access through that through this side over here. Uh, it's more or less where the edge of this area of where I have my banks is. I did it like that because... Let's go on this side. Because it's pretty much the edge of this uh, land piece right here. So I decided to do that and I didn't want to go a little over. I'm like, you know what? Let's make it look somewhat clean. So I made... Um, each uh, row here with five banks so I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 banks at the moment uh, aside from that I also bought another droid that appeared in the market uh, is this little gray guy here floating around uh, at first I was confused what it was I thought it was a bug a worm or something and then I think I noted I, I think it's a uh, shrimp I think it's a shrimp but I, I'm not exactly positive. It could be something else. Uh, its name is Pizza22. Took me a while to be able to read it since they're going back and forth. But I think it says Pizza22 or or PI22A22 or something like that. Or maybe Pizza ZZ. I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like it says Pizza22. Um, so yeah, the issue with the demons is that since I've made... I decided to put three markets here, or three additional markets. Well, I had to expand my bridge over here, so there's no way to block them now. What I will do, of course, is burn that bridge. Don't need that there. I don't need more skellies coming over. So I found a bunch of stuff. There's some animal lure and animal feed. That's new uh, to me. Uh, that doesn't matter. Slime floor doesn't really matter. More stuff here. Uh, I bought some. If I can just get into this, come on. I bought um, this uh, Blood Fury cocktail. That's one. That's one of the missing potions that we need. We also got the eel, the lava eel. So that's not in the desert. I thought that was in the desert. So that's in the fire, the uh, hell lands, or the demon lands. I got the soup. Exactly the five that I needed were the only ones that were available in the shop. Some more stuff here. But there's something else over here that I want to show you guys. Let's see if I can get to it. There's this void stone, which I have no clue what it's about. It's pretty cheap. So I think I'm going to buy it, just like what I did with the uh, star fragments that I've been buying too. Uh, it's not expensive to buy the star fragments, so I decided to buy those. Um, I thought I restocked for a second. Uh, no, I think I saw the. I think it was the electronics that make that sound. So what I did here is also I have the electronics on infinite. Because it just takes so long, and I've also put the Royal Steel, oops, I took it off, on Infinite as well. Because I have so much of this, and I'm like, it takes so long, so I'm just, eh, I guess I'll do it. So now, with these mining rods as they are, 
uh, the the quarry just can't keep up. So, well, that's that. At least it cleans up the area for a little bit. I don't know about this one. I don't know if it just respawned or what happened there. So I also filled up. Uh, I can't even see my arrow. There it is. I filled up the this fishing trap lake that I called it um, in one of our one of the previous episodes uh, way back. So that's there. Even though I moved the banks, I still can't talk to the druid. I don't know if it's bugging out. Maybe because of the vaults as well. Because the vaults also disappear over there. But it's the only thing that disappears. Banks don't disappear anymore. And no forges, no sewing stations. Just the vaults. So maybe I have to move the vaults to be able to talk to him. It's still no big deal because I still don't have the saplings. I haven't been able to find them in the market. So yeah, that's that. I've also put... Uh, the steel right there, I don't know if I've already mentioned it. Um, it's not infinite, but it's it's there. So the power plant is here. And it has a huge radius, so it's it pretty much covers the entirety of your screen area. It's like maybe one land area and a half on each side. Or almost three. One, two, three. And then three um, in the middle, vertically and, and uh, horizontally. Diagonally, it's somewhere in between, but it's still a good area. So here was a here's a good spot. It it uh, buffs all my well not all of them, but some I think it buffs both factories. Uh, these four four furnaces here, those sewing stations. I think it reaches some of the furnaces over here and forges. So that's good. I'm like that's a good spot. I I don't like how it looks, but that's where it has to go. Uh, I've also got, yeah, like I mentioned, these things. This, I'm just going to throw it into my vault. Um, I had gotten that scroll there too. But I think I don't have enough to complete it yet. But let's go to the museum. And hopefully we can complete something. We also leveled up. Is it here? No, I need more milk for that. Mining requires a mining uh, thingy over there. The trapping, I think, is done. The food, I think I still need. Oh, no, I have the soup. There you go. Complete the museum cooking bundle. Master Chef. We got another spirit orb. I'm guessing all of these uh, give us spirit orbs. So I still need that one. So I'm going to go with that. And then I have this one there. I just need whatever that thing is. I don't know what that is, but whatever. We'll get it when we get it. So the eel. There you go. We got another one. Archaeologist. Oh, merchant's medallion points at the location of secret of the of secret merchant. Market restock time is reduced by 25%. Oh, that one was different. Didn't expect that. Um, I think that's about it. I could probably do that. I could probably do the steel now, but nah, I'm still gonna take a while before I get everything else. So I still need milk for that. I still need the mining um, scroll for that one. So. We're almost there, we're getting there. Demons! Silence! Okay, so I don't need this with me, so we're just gonna send that to a vault. We don't need that with us either, send that to the vault. We got a lot of that. Uh, we're gonna go with the... Let's check the skills. Actually, you know what? No. Go back. What I'm going to do right here... Uh, the spirit orbs. I wanna use it to level up. I really am tempted to do so because I want but I also want to do some of these maybe I can get some more uh, droids but probably not worth it since we already have well we have plenty we can have way more I think we have we can have an infinite amount of these well, I don't know if there's a limit I think you can even get repeating ones if I recall correctly what are they smacking okay I was hearing something being attacked oh it's over here uh, they actually, uh, previously, uh, off camera, one of those archers and, um, one of these skelly warriors, they teamed up and they actually destroyed this, or one of the, the one with the glass, or uh, the one producing the glass here, and, well, I had to make it, I'm like, ah, skellies, I killed him, had to make that again. So, I guess I'm gonna go with using that for XP 
I just want more level ups. I'm just gonna do it. There we go. So we're gonna throw that to the vault. Can you stop sending that to me? Hmm. So that merchant medallion thing, so that's for I'm guessing it's gonna show like a an arrow similar to the one with the um for the stars, the starfall. Uh and it points to that merchant, so it's called a secret merchant. Oh. I thought it was a traveling merchant. It, it didn't seem very secret. Except for the items that he sold, those were kinda secret. Um so What I'm gonna do next is go to the skills. So even with this one, I think the quarries still don't keep up because the quarries, this one only increased to 25%, but the the laser increased to 50%, and then the area, and then there's two, so there's there's definitely more uh, more of these. Uh, they're definitely co uh, collecting faster than this can produce, but that's fine, no big deal. I don't really care for that, but uh, I kind of see, I kind of think I need to get it. So let's see, we have five skill points. So I'm gonna go for that just to figure what that is, because I don't really care for the destruction one. Twenty-five percent increased damage to bosses. I haven't really dealt with bosses, have I? Hmm. Because I was thinking of going with this one, um, to just get a lot of, I don't know fish or something whatever and eat it and see if that helps me gain the XP but I think I'm just gonna go with the spirit or just buying them off the merchant so let's go with destruction and it, this unlocks too anyways come on and looting gain 50% more loot from enemies and bosses hmm that might be interesting what's this spirituality gain two spirit orbs unlock spirit forges I don't remember, I don't remember what that does Mmm, interesting. Let's see, I don't care for that for sure. Un increased dodge chance 50%. I guess that could be useful. Uh, don't care for that. Mmm, more loot? Probably not. Maybe? I'll go with this one. And summoning unlocks the sigil maker. Shrines recharge twice as fast. I don't know what that's about. Optics doubles light radius in the dark. I wonder if it increases the light radius of that lantern that's floating around me. Let me go for evasion. Just to try to get something different. Potions and scrolls cost fewer resources to craft. I don't even care for that. Spell. I don't even care for that either. You know what? I'm just gonna go with summoning because it's gonna unlock two over here. And this one, transmutation unlocks void steel. Huh? Allows cauldrons to morph steel into gems. Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. Void steel. Hmm. Very interesting. Ah, so I'm probably gonna have to go for the alchemy to get the cauldron. And that's where I get Void Steel from, right? I can already see it. Astrology unlocks Cosmic Steel. Starfalls happen more frequently. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm guessing Star Fragments and Steel make uh, Cosmic Steel. And Void Stone, which we found earlier in the market. And Steel probably make uh, Void Steel. Where is it? Right here. Uh, so that's probably the end of this. It's probably just going to go up from there. Uh, this one will unlock this and this so I can see what it is, but I don't even like what this is going to give me. Neither is that. This one's going to give me one up here. This So will this one. They're both the same. Uh, go with this one. I hate it, but just to see what's new. Inscription unlocks inscription tables. That's where we craft the paper from. Faith unlocks shrines. So, spirit forges. No, that's not that one. Shrines recharge. Shrines recharge twice as fast. So I get the shrines from here. I even I don't know what those do. I don't even remember. So we got a bunch of stuff there. We should have gotten two orbs for free. So we're gonna use that for our XP level up. There you 
There you go. We got two level ups. So let's go back into the skills. I'm guessing I have no choice but to. I don't know about those shrines. I forget what those do. Mm. But either way, I want to unlock that. So cosmic, avoid. I don't even want to. I don't even care for dealing with these. I really don't. Hmm. Just go with this. Forget it. Do something. And what's this? Magic structures work 25% faster. So that's the same as this. Okay, so we got one more. Shrines, I guess? I don't really care for the inscription table for sure. Let's go for the shrines. And the last thing is... I cannot read that. Unlocks expert level scrolls and potions. I don't think that is interesting. So, yeah, I got out of it, but we pretty much, we haven't gotten everything, but we pretty much uncovered everything that we can get. So, yeah, that's that. Let's just make sure no demons are fighting over here, attacking our... Ah, demons! I dodged that one. Attacking our banks, so we're good there. Take care of that guy. Alright, I think maybe the market has re restocked while we were busy in there. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, we're gonna grab those just cause. Nothing of interest. Two minutes left. Uh, and I see... I'll grab the thread, I guess. Uh, royal wall. Hmm, no, nothing of interest there. Did I check this side? I think I did, but just to be sure. Come on, there you go, no. Uh, I need that one for sure. I'll grab the keys. Dies. Mm. I'll grab those bottles. And that's it. So it's almost gonna recharge or restock. Let's go over here. And send to vault. Send to vault. Uh, the builder one I don't need right now, but we're gonna go with that mining one. I think we're done with it. I think we just needed the scrolls. Yeah, I think we just needed the scrolls. There we go. Complete the museum mining bundle. Master miner. I think that just made me into like a square. Got another spare orb. Yeah, so we're gonna use that for XP. Level me up. Uh, gear. Skills. Come on. I can't do it inside the museum. Oh, okay. I think that mining squirrel summons rocks and ore all around. Yeah, it's pretty much a quarry in a squirrel. We don't need that. So we're just going to throw that into the vault. And now, skills, skills. So, here... Gain XP when selling items, discard from inventory, no. Bargain, reduce market cost by 15%. I guess that might be nice. Uh, looting. I probably should unlock this, so I'll probably go with the Cosmic Steel. And I think we should look into magical buildings. So shrines. Provides a divine blessing when activated. I really don't remember what that does. And I think it's... I, I wonder if it's similar to the... The obelisks where it's uh, timed. I think it is. It's, I think it's a buff. Okay, that's restocked. Uh, craft ultimate magic item. The spirit forge? Huh, interesting. Should probably make one. See what, what that's about. The sigil maker. Craft sigils to summon power for bosses. Oh! Okay, interesting. That costs royal steel though. The cauldron is one, and the other one's probably the inscription table. Let's make a spirit forge, I guess. Um, I really don't know where to, where to put this. 
I really don't know where to put this. Huh. I know I should probably put it in the range of this, so. Put one there? Uh. Two? Three? Four? Okay, we'll go with four. No more than that. Okay, merchant! Oh, so that's how it marks it. It marks it like gray with the gray arrow. Okay, so some void portals. I need some skulls and void roses. Okay. So, send that to vaults. I probably need to get more vaults. I feel like I'm running out of space. I hear something. Something dangerous. A demon's down there. So, let's check this. Don't need that. We'll take that. Don't need that. Mm, I think we need some butterflies. You know, I'm just going to grab those. Grab those. I don't know about the bombs. I've never used those. I don't really care. Obsidian. I think I have plenty of that. Nope, don't need that either. Check the next one. The sigil. I'm going to grab the star. Scroll. Grab the wood, just because. Spike traps. Seeds. No, no, nothing of interest. Flower pot. Huh. Red dye. Frozen. Oh, fiberglass. We'll take that. It's expensive, but we'll get it. The frozen relic. I remember that for some of my tools or, um, or things like that here, I think one of these required... That required the fossil. Vo Ooh, void rose and a plastic. Digging always yields rare items. That's I think that's what it was. And I would always dig. I can't remember if I did that though. That seems yeah. That, so that's the buff I, w I was talking about. But I don't know if it'll work. Um, or maybe something else gives me that. What about the demon amulet? Ah, that's a lot of electronics. Oh yeah, another thing that I forgot to explain that I just remembered. I actually placed a mining rod here, or in the um, in the range of the uh, banks. So to tr to see if that would will gather the the uh, money for us automatically, it doesn't. I tried, it, it doesn't. So that sucks. So great, we can make great skulls with a bunch of bones. We can make spirit orbs with pigment. Man, I so that's what we need pigment for. Uh, void steel. At least I don't have to make it in the cauldron. That's fine. So masterfully crafted. This is one of the strongest metal metals. Steel imbued with the magic of a fallen star. So legendary gems for that. Star fragments and void steel. Oh, whoa! So void steel is needed to make cosmic steel. So cosmic steel is better than void steel. Okay, that's new. Well, actually, I, I don't remember ever dealing with this, so I don't know. Void stone. I have no clue where to get that. I have a feeling the void portal is used to go to the void biome or something like that. I don't know. Well, I don't really need bones for anything, so I guess I might as well. Not that one. The one that's over here that I could hardly see. Have that infinitely being made. Um, it shows right there the E and then it also shows a oh, right click. It, I don't know what that exactly uh, does. It places a um, a droid. I think what it does is that it just increases its production production speed uh, similar to what this does. But I'm not going to do that. So yeah, we just got a ton of stuff over here going on. We still gotta do this, we still gotta go in there. And we need to get our money. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of things to do. But that's gonna be the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you wanna see more. Hit that like button if you liked the episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.